Imagine a small child standing gazing up towards the distant glint of a transatlantic jet high in the sky. Now, think about this. The difference between the height of that child and the height of that plane roughly corresponds to the wealth gap between the richest and the poorest families in Scotland today. Right at the bottom of the scale, a quarter of Scottish children live in poverty. Millions of households struggle daily to pay the bills. Council tax, rent, mortgage, gas, electricity, insurance, and all the rest. But Scotland is not an impoverished third world country. We have plentiful natural resources and a skilled, educated population. In the 21st century, there is no reason why any of our children should have to live under the dark shadow of poverty and insecurity. Not when the total wealth produced in Scotland every year works out at £25,400 for every single man, woman and child in the country. Last year, one of Scotland's richest tycoons, Brian Souter, paid himself £98 million in salary and bonuses. That works out at £50,000 per hour. Meanwhile, hundreds of thousands of Scots work for just £5.35 per hour, the national minimum wage. To earn the amount Brian Souter paid himself last year, these low-paid workers would have to slog away, hour after hour, week after week, century after century, for the next 9,000 years. It's not just personal greed that has to be challenged, it's also corporate greed. With big businesses in Scotland grabbing way more than their fair share, something definitely smells a bit funny. Last month, Scotland's two biggest banks, the Royal Bank of Scotland and the Bank of Scotland, announced record profits, over £15 billion between them. That means that in the 10 years since Tony Blair came to power, their profits have risen by a thousand percent. If the state pension had risen at the same rate, it would now be worth more than £600 per week. And the national minimum wage would be £30 per hour. Every day, Scotland's big business corporations hit the jackpot. The rest of us are left with a worthless ticket. The rich have never had it so good. Yet, bizarre as it seems, the four big parties want to dish out even more wealth to the wealthy. The Scottish Socialist Party is different. We stand on the side not of the millionaires, but on the side of the millions like you. On the side not of the rich, but of the rest of us. On the side of our ordinary working people, our pensioners, our students, our one-parent families, our sick and disabled, our carers, our children. The Scottish Socialist Party wants an independent Scotland. But unlike the SNP, we don't want an independent Scotland that will just be another tax haven for the rich. We want an independent, socialist republic that will banish poverty and low pay to the history books. That will tax the rich fairly and redistribute wealth that will become a proud international symbol of peace, social justice and equality. On May 3rd, vote for an independent socialist Scotland. Make your first vote count, Scottish Socialist Party. For further information about the Scottish Socialist Party, call us on 0141 429 8200 or visit our website at www.scottishsocialistparty.org.